Welcome back to Catch It, Cook It, and Eat It. I am your host, Ben Sargent, and today we're talking to one of the last commercial fishermen families in NYC, Larry Seaman and Larry Jr. Seaman. So walk us through exactly what it is you do. When the fall kicks in is when we start, we set our eel pots for commercial food fishing, for catching the eels for eating. Mm-hmm. Also, we take the small eels, which are used for bass fishing. Yeah. I made a living. I didn't get rich at it. Right. I paid my bills. I raised my family. Larry doesn't look like he <laughs> <laughs> missed you know, out. He, no, he looks like you raised him well. <laughs> he looks healthy. You yeah, know he I mean? looks healthy. <laughs> <laughs> and I never got anything in writing because, you know, it was more or less done on a handshake. Okay, sure. we're good to go. We can fish. Fine. Handshakes it, meant something. That's right. Yeah. Still means something to me. It doesn't yeah. mean a lot to a whole lot of other people, right. but... Our, our our producer over there, Nat, is uh, freaking out in the other room. He's sick as is. He was uh, not feeling well today. All he needed was to see a headless writhing eel. Like I was going to make scrambled eggs. Okay. I just whipped up whipped up the eggs here. All right. I got the eels. I'm whipping them around in. The- and and you've left the backbone, the cartilage, in there. Oh right? yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yep. So how's it work? Is when you eat around the bone? Yeah. Exactly right. Okay. Okay. Yeah, so this is this is the same way that my grandfather always did uh, flounder. Nat, you want to try some uh, eel? Well, my good, isn't it? Tasty, right? Yeah. That's amazing. Swims? If it swims or crawls, we eat it. Tell me, Larry Senior, who the famed uh, who is it? Killy? Killy Mary? Killy Mary? Oh, is? Killy Mary? Yeah. Kill, Killy, <laughs> Killy Mary was. I tell you, she was she was a great person. Yeah. She was like my grandmother, you know. But then one time I had my girlfriend up a little creek, Uh-oh. and yeah, we was making love up there, and the girl said, "Oh." I don't want to get caught. I said nobody will ever come up here. I had we had our heads underneath the deck of the boat. And we were getting we learns. were getting it on. And all of a sudden we heard clunk on the side of the boat. I was like, she says, what was that? I said, I don't know. Probably a seagull dropped a clam. So I poked my head up under the bow and I looked right to Mary's face. Oh. And she goes, Oh, you little son of a bitch, what are you doing? <laughs> I was like, Oh man. And I had to push my boat because I couldn't start the motor. It was all shallow water. I had to push all the way past Mary and all her killie pots she had out. And, well, that was the last of that girl. Never saw her. Never talked to me nothing. <laughs> so when I went down to Mary's the next day to sell her bait, she took one of these long squid bags, about six inches long and three inches wide. Oh, no. And she goes, here, you son of a bitch, take these or else you make babies. And I was so embarrassed, <laughs> I didn't even know to take them. You sort of are, are looked at sometimes as the... Uh the new terrorists <clears throat> that are threatening the JFK International Airport. There's no way you can confuse Overreac- us for terrorists. Overreaction right. is what it is, you know? I eat duck and my friends eat duck. We used to be able to hunt right there. Airplanes were over our heads. Once 9-11 happened, that next year we went there and they came out with the helicopter with the guys jumping out of the helicopter with SWAT <laughs> gear on and they escorted us out of there and we're not allowed in there anymore oh, for no that way. same reason. For that reason. I shit right in my knickers <laughs> when I looked and out the door of the little room they had me in and I saw them cutting him off in handcuffs. I was like, oh my God. <laughs> then I found out he had an outstanding warrant. Mm-hmm. Here it is, you know? Yeah. He was a real terrorist for riding his bicycle on a sidewalk <laughs> in Manhattan. I was like, holy shit. <laughs> we're, uh, we're out there every day. Right. I mean, well, yeah, what they don't understand is uh, us baymen, bay people, or whatever you want to say, mm-hmm. fishermen, we're like their li- first line of defense. Yeah, we're, we're out in the bay. We're out we, there every day. We, see something we, different? we know who belongs there, who Absolutely. don't belong there, right. you know? Right. I mean, how many times, n- numerous times, we help people stranded? Sure. I even pulled the park police off one time when they were up on a bar, you know? Mm-hmm. <laughs> there were muskrat trappers who were oh, yeah. living yep. in yep. New York oh, City, yeah. yep. making a living trapping yeah. muskrat? There, there probably still are a few. <coughs> I mean, I don't the, know any, the but there's fel- probably a handful around that are still trapping muskrats. Do I have to go out and get a muskrat license? If I <laughs> yeah, yeah, you do. Yeah, you really do. You have to have no a trapping kidding. license. Are you kidding? you Did- gotta have you got to have a, a, a horseshoe crab license now, too. Right, right. If you want to catch turtles, you got to have a turtle license. Right. Unbelievable. If I want to get laid, I got to get a get laid license. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, I would yeah. think for New York, whether it's as stupid as just tourism alone, that they would have kept the market down where it was, that they would keep you guys in business, mm-hmm. just because it's, it's sorry to be so uh, <laughs> artsy yeah. fartsy, but no. I mean, it's a beautiful thing. Does it make you sad, angry, or is it just the way it goes? Do you have to just chalk it up to the change? Yeah, it makes me sad, mm-hmm. and it makes me nervous mm-hmm. for a simple reason for my son. My sure. son's 35 years old. Right. I mean, I made a living, mm-hmm. you know, but the regulations now, mm-hmm. uh, we could set out 100 traps, mm-hmm. and we could make a halfway decent living. Yeah. But the thing is, <clears throat> last fall, 
We couldn't even get horseshoe crabs to set half of the traps. And without those horseshoe crabs, you might as well not even set the pots. I mean, really? it, it's a necessary thing. We need those right. crabs. Without those crabs, we're dead in the water. Right. The yeah. thing is, we can never find what we have. We can never find again. No. Like where we're located and where everything's... I mean, basically, we wake up and we roll out of bed and we're at work. But all at the same time, like, I take so much more pride in what I do because I know I'm the last, you know, right. so...